few people wanted to see this. This is the view from my front yard. It's basically looking out straight over the harbor. I have a few of the typical Mora knives. This is probably my most used one. It's a Mora number 1260. I've had this now for quite some time. It's been sharpened heavily and you can see it's even starting to develop a bit of a recurve down here because I've been a bit sloppy. It's hard to hit this final little tiny bit of area so I do need to flatten that back and straighten the edge back out again and I keep this maintained at the original angle bevel which is very close to 9 to 11 degrees per side and I usually don't put a micro bevel on it because I usually use this just for woodworking so it uh, doesn't get very dull but one of the issues is if you try to use a knife like this to do anything but woodworking and the edge does blunt it can be difficult to restore because you have to plane down this big wide bevel and the other thing is, when you're trying to do stuff like ropes and cardboard and general utility work, again, you have this full stock thickness uh, very close to the edge, which doesn't give you great performance. But again, these are extremely inexpensive knives. Like, I bought this for five bucks. Now, I have this, which is from Condor Knives, and they call it the Bush Buddy. Uh, it was an interesting case because Condor started putting out uh, these knives that were generally like similar to the Mora class knives. And they made knives like this, which sort of looked like a Mora, in that it had this sort of single bevel on it, which has become almost synonymous with the uh, Mora knives. Um, but the problem is, they didn't understand that the height of this bevel has to be taken into account with the thickness of the stock. So they would put out knives with quarter inch thick stock with the same height bevels that you would find on a, a Mora, which had much, much thinner stock. Like these go down to right 0 0.08. So a lot of the early Condors, like this one, came with uh, single edge bevels, but they cut horribly because the angles on these would be between 20 and 30 degrees per side. And of course, these don't cut well because they have one bevel. They cut well because that bevel is really acute. So I got this from the original owner, and he's after taking the bevel down quite a fair bit. But even then, it doesn't cut very well. So what I've done is what I normally do when I want to make a utility knife out of these traditional single bevel blades, blimp, which is to put a full flat grind on it. Now I leave the final edge angle at still at around 9 to 11 degrees per side, and that works perfectly fine. And then with the full height flat grind, it really thins out the edge. So it cuts much better, but it's also, of course, much easier to sharpen. Because right now, this edge is less than 5 thou thick. So you're only sharpening this little tiny bevel right here, rather than trying to sharpen this great big wide bevel. Now, of course, I'm going to do this to both sides. I'm not going to leave it like this, which is sort of like a pseudo chisel grind. I just wanted to show you what the original grind actually looked like before I modified it. So now I'll go in and I'll just rip all this steel off and I'll, you'll end up with a very nice flat ground knife. Make a little nice neck knife. Very nice little utility knife. And something that has always amused me, and I guess it's probably be characterized as a bit of a pet peeve. Uh, I always get a kick out of when people refer to these as Scandinavian bevels or Scandi bevels. They're just one single bevel. It's a very common bevel found on many, many different knives all over the place. And for me, someone referring to this as a Scandinavian bevel is like me referring to this flat ground part as a Canadian bevel. It's a very silly thing to do. And if I said that, the first thing somebody would say is, oh, well, I mean, lots of people do flat ground blades. It isn't just something found only in Canada. Exactly. And lots of people do single bevel blades. It's not something found just in Scandinavian blades. So it's kind of a silly thing to call it a Scandi grind. It's just a single bevel. That's it. So here's the Bush Buddy with the modification. Now it has a full flat grind. 
on both sides. Rather simple modification to do. It takes about 5 to 10 minutes per side with a low grit ceramic belt, just depending on how aggressive you're going to get. You want to be very uh, careful about overheating, especially when you grind down really close, because this edge now is less than 5 thou thick. So you can grind up here relatively easy. You don't need to really worry about overheating because there's a lot of metal up here to heat sink. But once you get down here, you have to be very, very careful because you'll burn this edge very rapidly where it's so thin. 